Hey there, everyone. Welcome to my weekly messages. I'm Delayla Starr. Today, the topic is the role of the anchor in a starseed mission. This topic came as a result of questions I've been uh, getting in counseling sessions. I've been talking to a lot of people who are starseeds who awakened, and they have a partner who has not awakened, and the disparity and the conflict and the stress that that puts on the relationship. And the question is always, should I stay? You know, should I stay with this partner? Is it maybe time to leave because we're just on different wavelengths now? Well, the answer has been the same each time. It's a non-answer. <laughs> the reason why is that guides don't tell you what to do. You know, higher dimensional guides don't tell you what to do. What they'll do is give you suggestions, and then they'll give you the logic, the higher dimensional wisdom that backs up that, that, that suggestion so that you can then make your own decision. Now, they wanted me, in the case of Megan, this was the last one that had contacted me, a lovely lady in her 50s who um, has grown children, and she has been married for over 30 years and just feels isolated from her husband because they're just like, she started her path, he's still, you know, playing golf, <laughs> enjoying all the good things of 3D, and she's like, why aren't you awakening? And so she feels very isolated and cut off and wants to know whether she should just leave her partner. Okay, so let's talk about the role of the anchor, and this will explain why, uh, and help, and, and the goal that her guides gave her, had for her was to help her make an informed choice, not to tell her what to do. So let's talk about the role of the anchor. The role of the anchor is to be the one who will anchor us into 3D while we go off into our, uh, to the other realms pursuing uh, our training and our, you know, our goals. Without, and their job is to provide food, clothing, shelter, stability for the family, keeping us grounded in 3D because we still have a physical body. Even though our mind's going out there, we still have a physical body. So they help support the physicality of our life. Okay. So that's exactly what they're supposed to do. Now, why is that so important? I mean, why can't we go without that? Well, what happens, you have to understand the universal mailbox. Okay. There's this metaphor that somebody's guide gave me years ago, and I thought it was marvelous. He says the universe is like a mailbox, only much more efficient than the U.S. Postal Service. Anyway, it's it, wherever your heart is is where your mailbox is. So if your heart is anchored in 3D, when you ask for blessings and whatever it, and healings, it comes to 3D. Wherever your heart is, that's where your mailbox is. But when starseeds awaken, their heart moves. It moves into the other realms because that's where their passion is. That's what their focus is. So you went from, you transferred your heart, your email box from 3D to over there. Okay, so all your blessings are going there and you're getting all these great opportunities and this new knowledge coming your way. Perfect. Okay, but somebody has to keep a mailbox here because if you don't, what happens is you usually end up with no money, you might end up losing your home, you know, whatever, because you don't have any way, your mailbox is out there and here, so it's, everything is growing up there, but it's not growing here. So the purpose of the anchor is to keep a mailbox open here, so you have one out there and one here, and together, you, you know, that allows the star seed to fund themselves, support themselves, and and go, you know, continue on with their daily reality. What happens is that we don't have a handbook when we came here, so we didn't know that we were going to have an anchor, those of us who are fortunate to have an anchor. So we tend to judge that anchor because we think they should be awakening with us. No. For them to do their job, they have to keep their heart in 3D, their mailbox in 3D. If they awaken, their heart gets transferred, their mailbox gets transferred up there with us, and then we're both sunk, okay? Yeah, we're enlightened, but we can't. There's no money to go to the grocery store. So that is the role of the anchor. Once Megan understood that, she was like, oh, my God, I've been judging my husband all this time, and I thought I was going to leave him. I was going to leave my anchor. How crazy is that? So anyway, she's going back. She's apologizing to her husband and saying, you know what? You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do, and I'm really grateful because I couldn't be doing what I'm doing as comfortably as I'm doing it without you. So whether she stays or goes, that's really up to her and how they work things out. But what her guide wanted to understand was the gift that she had given herself because it was written into her blueprint that she would have an anchor. So if you're out there and you're struggling with the same situation, hopefully this information about the anchor will help you. 
Happy Mother's Day to all of you. The day is being done on May 9th. My daughter's coming. That's kind of why I'm going so fast here. She's going to take me out to lunch and go buy something fun. Anyway, you guys have a great Mother's Day, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.